I have just told the internet that I'm running for mayor of Hamilton. I think my life might just change forever now. <laughs> I'm just going to uh, go through and like all these comments. Brad, how are we going? Uh, not too bad. Yeah. Got a couple likes. <laughs> a couple. A couple. Okay, Google Analytics is kind of cool because I can see that there are 37 people looking at my website right now. Holy moly. Good morning. Uh, today, Brad and I are on our way to my graduation for my master's. Oh, I've already cried once. So we've just had a campaign meeting and everybody else has left, but I got the photos back from graduation already. And here's us looking like a bunch of doofuses. <laughs> So I have come home early today uh, because the YWCA is featuring me on their blog, which is really cool. Um, I answered some questions for them at lunchtime, but they need a graphic. So I'm just quickly putting that together. To Councilwoman Palma, I thank you for your service to our community. I do. But I'm the only one running for Congress in this room. I've gotten distracted doing an interview for the Hamilton News, but that's okay. I'm getting this done. Good morning. It is half past seven and I am going to a another campaign meeting with somebody which I'm quite excited about actually. But I'm also wearing my Chelsea J t shirt. So I'm also excited about that. morning of Zinefest. I've just been to warehouse station to pick up some stickers. Um, I went to Kmart before this and Kmart did not have stickers. I was outraged. But that's okay. Um, yeah, time for Zinefest. It is Sunday. Um, yesterday was so full on and ridiculous and amazing that I didn't take any video footage basically once Zinefest started, which is like... So not me. I always take video footage of pretty much everything. <laughs> um, uh, but hopefully that's a testament to just how like busy I was. I was basically swamped with people the whole day, um, which was really, really amazing. It was like awesome. It was so awesome to talk to people um, and people who were like had opinions. You know, we think that people don't have opinions about politics and it's like, People do have opinions about what they care about and the issues that affect them. We just don't have ways to engage with them about it. Um, so that was really, really cool. Um, yeah, and then last night I meant to go to the Zinefest after party, but I fell asleep on the couch. <laughs> I would like to nominate Louise Hutch, who I know is a ringer. Uh, that's yeah. me. Who has, I think it was last night on Twitter, Made a big announcement, yes. said there's only so many times you can ask your leaders to take action on climate change, to represent people who aren't their voters, and to centre our well-being, until you just have to step up and do it yourself. I'm running for mayor. <gasps> yes! <laughs> That's me! Yes, Louise. Okay, so since I didn't take any footage yesterday at Zinefest, I've recreated the experience for you right now. So, um, I have this piece of paper where it says, what do you give a shit about? Uh, and some topics. Uh, and then I had a wad of post-it notes, and people could also submit a category. Um, and this was my really cool recycled <laughs> tissue box for uh, donations. Um, yeah, and basically I gave people three stickers, and I said, you know, you're allowed to care about everything, but I just want to know what you think is most urgent. Um, yeah, and it was so interesting. Um, my friend Asa joked that I needed to measure the climate change ones based on, like, uh, vertical height rather than, like, spread, simply because people had to stack them over the top of each other. Um, but yeah, I think it really proved that, like, people have opinions about politics. They just need a way to engage. <laughs> 